and welcome to today's Autodesk Inventors class. My name is Olua Tumbi Blessing or La Lekon, the founder of Michael Tech. Alright, today we'll be considering the production of uh, the pen details as displayed on the screen. Alright, so we are going to produce each of the component parts, produce the assembly drawing, then yeah, the presentation view. So those are the three things I'm actually going to consider in this particular video. Alright, so the very first component I'm going to consider is the ink tube, which is the most easiest of all, the ink tube. So, clicking on my sketch, any plane, I pick a circle, yeah, a circle of diameter, uh, diameter 8, enter, then diameter 5, enter. So, I'm going to what, finish my sketch, then I'm going to extrude this to a distance of 150, then what, enter. So it's going to look like this. I can actually change the material to something LCD plastic like this. I think this is better. This is better. Okay. I can actually look for something uh let me look at clear. Okay, something like this. I think this is better here. Yeah. Clear blue is better. Yeah, clear blue is better. So I'm going to name it as my what? My ink tube. Ink tube. All right. So from there, I create a new uh, worksheet for part five. So I'm going to produce the back cover. So clicking on my start, clicking on any of the plane there, I click on circle. So I draw a circle of diameter 10, 8, and 12. So diameter 10, enter diameter 8 enter and diameter 12 enter so doing that i'm going to finish my sketch also so with my extrude i extrude everything yeah to a thickness of one first of all so i click on my plus then i extrude yeah take notes so that is 12 okay so i'm extruding this inner one you see at a distance of what of six i'm going to make it solid do you see that then what okay so yeah for this let me produce uh a blue pen i think a blue pen is okay so let me make this blue okay so and this is my what my back cover that's my back cover all right so i'm going to create a new worksheet produce another component so this time around i am producing the ink receiver so clicking on my start to the sketch picking any of the plane here i want to pick my line and produce this figure yeah without dimension yet like this like this and like this i'm going to make this perpendicular to this so now with that now with my dimension i'm going to make the height 20 enter okay so uh the base here there is diameter six so i'm going to make it three enter so this area here is diameter seven seven divided by two that's going to be 3.5 enter so this area is four divided by two i'm going to make it two enter all right I'm going to make this area to be 10 enter so the diameter of year to year is 10 so that is going to be 5 enter okay and I take that as well that is all yeah so I'm going to finish my sketch I'm going to click on my revolve with my revolve I click on this surface select as this I select this then what okay so since we are making blue barrel this area is also going to be what blue I'm going to make it blue also so that is my what i'm saving it as what ink receiver okay so that is set to so i'm going to create a new worksheet also so with a new worksheet i'm going to produce the writing tip start to the sketch pick any of my plane i'm going to pick a line in this order like this So 
so like this so the total it i'm going to make it 12 enter then i'm going to make this four enter so i'm going to make this area two enter so i'm using the revolve uh command here take note so i'm going to make here to here to be three enter so then i'm going to what uh finish my sketch i'm going to use revolve i'm going to pick this then what okay so i can make this area either gold or silver which i should we use i think silver is going to look better yeah so i'm going to name this name this as my what my writing tip okay so then uh the last component yeah i think the last component is the casing the casing yeah casing that's the last component so with this now we can start to the sketch pick this i'm creating uh a polygon and i'm going for hexagon see what i'm drawing so and we have a cross corner a cross corner ac is what 14 enter okay i'm going to what finish my sketch i'm going to uh extrude this to a height of 160 all right so extruding to a height of 160 i'm going to pick uh that's yz plane i'm picking my yz plane straight away my yz plane wait let me confirm no i'm picking xy not yz i'm picking my xy plane sorry i'm picking my xy plane with my xy plane i create sketch creating my sketch i click on f7 to slice the graphics then obviously i'm going to click on project cut edges after doing that i'm going to pick a line i'm going to draw this line straight away through the middle like this first of all all right after doing that, i'm going to come towards this axis here all right i'm going to draw this line like this yeah see what i'm drawing then all the way all the way down like that a straight line like that so i'm going to pick my dimension yeah for this line uh the hole on the inside is diameter 10 i'm picking five enter i'm picking five enter in that area so take note of that oh sh a mistake or an error on my part sorry so i think i'm going to do it like this i'm going to year to year to be five enter i think it's better this way so then i'm going to move it this way so towards the end here diameter six that's going to be three so from here to here i make it what three enter all right so and the angle is 169 if i'm not mistaken so from here to here angle of 169 enter then i'm going to pick the distance from here to here to be no that should be a 10 i'm coming i'm coming let me remove those dimensions and fix this first this is a 10 this is 169 and year to year is this will be three okay not up to yeah. let's leave it like that so three something in that order so let's leave it like that okay since it is now up to point one also so that's it okay so after doing that i'm going to pick my line again i'm going to pick my line again now this time around i'm going to put a line just draw this line somewhere here okay then i'm going to just extend it all the way outside like this see what i'm doing i'm picking my dimension the angle from here to here is 11 enter do you see that so i'm going to pick my trim i'm trimming this you see that then the distance from here to here is 5.31 5.31 all 
5.31 enter do you see that then what i'm finishing my sketch now upon finishing my sketch i'm going to pick my what my revolve picking my revolve uh i think i'm still going to go back to the inside over there but before that let us revolve this first i'm picking this see what i pick this area then select axis select this okay i'm going to click on cut then what okay yeah so i'm going to share sketch yeah so this sketch too i'm going to edit this sketch too i ought to have done something earlier on okay clicking my f7 again so let me just create this on the outside here something like you square around it okay yeah like this around the area take notes so now i'm going to click on my revolve again i'm going to click this area first then this area then this area you see i keep i click do you see what i pick now select axis this same center line i'm going to click on cut then what okay all right so i can now hide my visibility so i can just pick a fillet let's say fillet of yeah i think fillet of two is okay so fillet of two okay i'm going to apply that across so i'm going to make this uh glass all right i'm going to save it as casing then what enter so with all our parts created i'm going to go to my assemble folder standard mm.in i'm going to click on place i'm going to insert everything here like this escape so having it here like this i'm going to ground my casing ground it so that it doesn't move about so now i'm going to start joining i'm going to use a uh, constraint i'm going to use uh, insert throughout okay take note i'm inserting throughout so from this to this i apply take note of that so from this to this i apply take note then from this to this i apply then the last but not the least from this okay to this then what okay and that is our pen you can see that's our pen as displayed on the screen that's our pen being displayed on the screen you see clean like my clean cheap like was like planting chips so i'm going to name it as pen okay now i'm going to create my presentation file okay standard mm.ipn so i'm going to click on pen here so i have this right there like that so i'm going to click on tweak component pick the back cover and then what take this out like this which is actually better okay i'm going to click on uh this the casing obviously just shift it backward a little i think that's okay like that okay then i'm going to click on this i'm going to press down my control button click this then this then i'm going to what move the three at the same time like that do you see that then after that i'm going to click on this with my control button i click on this so then i what i move this like this okay then after that i click on only the tip then i what i move this like this then what enter so with that i can just play it and see how the thing is actually going to work you can see that pam 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 yeah you can use any method that actually suits you so that's just it okay and that is the production of uh the pen and the and its presentation file so take note you have to do the working drawing and other stuff by yourself on the iso.idw uh, file details right so that's the production of the pen problem as displayed on the screen once again my name remains uluwa to be blessing or the founder of michael tech
kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also refer to your friends who might be in need of it thank you